first up we have Cynthia Morgan. She's wearing some really interesting reflective sunglasses here. How do we caption her look? Timmy, I'm going to come to you first. Yeah. You look yeah, like you have Lord. something. I, I actually <laughs> don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. What you want to say? I wasn't going to talk about the reflective sunglasses. Okay. Oh, you know what? She looks so fierce. I would probably just say black don't crack. I don't uh -oh. know. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and very, very, very true statement. Definitely does not crack mm. ever. Yeah, go on. Hmm. I'll just say about Cynthia's looking. Okay, so this is gonna sound a bit, maybe a bit, Say it. yeah. <laughs> it's all right, let it out. Um, maybe something like I have a different range to match my hair color. Oh my god! No way! <laughs> <laughs> That's like a real like, yeah. caption. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. I guess I couldn't keep the boots locked up any longer. I just, I just, oh. <laughs> I just think that was like she's showing off her boots because like, she's like, ha. Mm. She just has that one leg in front of the other in that very gangster pose. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what Cynthia actually mm. captioned her picture. Okay, so Cynthia actually captioned her picture, throwback, black and red, bitch, better have my money. That's very gangster, very mm -hmm. unnice nice, actually, yeah. soon. Okay, so last but not least, we have the fashion designer, Oruro Omatsola, who's behind the label Rabahia, mm -hmm. and she's wearing this gorgeous, very um, flowy yellow dress. What would we caption this picture of Oruro? Mm -hmm. Toy, um, what would you caption this? It's pretty cute. Um, Go for wild sunflower. I don't know. Oh, it's a cute picture. I like that. Not like, yeah. That's a cute caption because the sunflower is like kind of gentle and dainty, but then she has this kind of feeling of freedom in the picture. Yeah. And that's a really nice caption. Wild sunflower. Jamie, can you top wild sunflower? <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I would. I would. I would just say windblown. <laughs> nice and simple there. <laughs> nice and simple. <laughs> First trend we're looking at is leopard print. Um, this has been seen on the runways a lot recently and of course on the red carpets too. I mean, what, is your thoughts on, what are your thoughts on this trend? Because I can... I can, um, I can I'm all for leopards. Yeah. If done the right way and not iridescent leopard that yeah. looks almost like lame, um, that's where things tend to go terribly wrong and it needs to be executed. You can't do, you can't do overkill with leopard print. Tony, what's your take on leopard print? Um, it's... I mean, it's it's a big no for me. I, most people, you know, love leopard print, and I I just there's a fine line between. I, I like to say leopard and leopard. Leopard is <laughs> is when it looks cheap, tacky, ratchet, and mm. I just feel like it's sometimes it's really hard to just get it right. So yeah. I just sort of stay away in general. Okay. You back away from leopard. You. What do we think about the fact that these high end brands? are charging these super high prices, but sometimes not always delivering on their promise of quality. Hmm. Yeah, go, I'm going to start with you because I know <laughs> you have a lot to say on this topic. Um, hmm. Okay, let me, let me start with the Calvin Klein dress, actually. I, I think part of this has to do with, um, it's fashion's fault, to be honest, I, I think. I mean, it, it's a marketing problem. I, I think when fashion first became a thing, you know, when you're talking about uh, people like um, Bo Brummel in the 1800s and so on, um, fashion was this preserve of the elite, so everything they did was like gold threads and things that were sewn in Marrakesh by some craftsperson or whatever. Um, but now, I mean, we're in the 21st century and a lot of this stuff is about mass production. It's um, people consuming fashion. It's not just a rarefied few. It's now quite a much, you know, fashion is a lot more accessible, right? Sure. So. Um, one of the things I think a lot of people are not really aware of is that 